Hi, welcome to How To Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to put some new life into your old appliance and also save you money. Now, cooker knobs for hobs and uh, ovens that are built in or freestanding can vary in price between manufacturer to manufacturer between 10 and 30 pound each. We now do a set of knobs under 25 pound and this is a pack of four. Each knob comes with its own kit and this kit allows you to fit it to the three different shaft diameters that are on the market from different manufacturers. You have the standard 6mm shaft, you have the imperial quarter inch shaft and you also have the 3 16 shaft. Now each individual knob also has three different variations of length. You have the flush fit knob which is like this and that would be flush fitting. Then you have a knob with an insert going into the cooker which is 10 millimeters long and they also come with other shaft lengths of up to 25 millimeters. As you can see we have a variation of different spigots that will adapt the knob to which type of cooker you have. They also have three different inserts normally depending on the color that you buy and this allows you to change the knob to the different configuration. So let me show you how to change these knobs. The first thing you need to decide is what color you're going to put on your cooker. Then you need to work out what the diameter of the knob is. This knob is roughly 37 and I've decided to replace it with the chrome version instead of the silver version. Then we need to pull the knob off but make sure it's in the off position. Then we need to look at the shaft going into the glass. As you can see this is not a flush fit, this has got 10 millimeters going in. So we need to use the correct spigot and we need to insert that onto the shaft. Then we can put the knob on top in the off position so it lines up perfectly and then push it all together and that's the knob fitted. And I've decided to use the nice bright red knob insertions and you can see that going on and that will just push into place. And there you go, you've got a perfect knob fitting for your cooker that looks attractive and also is very good for the visually impaired because now you can see this in the off position. This next part of the video will show you all the different configurations that you can use with these cooker knobs.
And there you go, I fitted both of the knobs to this cooker now so you can actually see it looks a lot more attractive than the old ugly worn out knobs. And even without looking at the cooker, I can actually spin this knob round fast and know when it's in the off position just by feeling it. And this has got to be very useful for people who have visual impairment. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. The links to the parts are in the description below. Thanks again for watching.